Hi, my name is Jennifer De La Pina. I am an infectious diseases pharmacy resident at UW Health Hospital. The practice of ID and antimicrobial stewardship is promoting appropriate use of antimicrobials to improve and optimize patient outcomes while also minimizing adverse effects and development of resistance. As you might know, resistance has been a growing problem since it is associated with significant morbidity and mortality for our patients. And this usually happens when organisms develop a lot of ways to make antimicrobials less effective. As ID pharmacists, we play a major role in making sure that patients are started on the appropriate empiric therapy. And what empiric therapy means is that we don't necessarily know what the organisms are that are causing the infection, but we are selecting the antibiotics that we think might target those organisms for that type of infection. And once we have our organism identified as well as antibiotics that are susceptible to it, then we would ask the team if we can de-escalate from a broad spectrum to a narrower spectrum agent. Additionally, pharmacists are responsible for making sure that appropriate dosing is followed based on renal function for antimicrobials and also monitoring for adverse effects and managing drug-drug interactions. I first got interested in ID during my third year pharmacy school. And what really piqued my interest in infectious disease is that I think of it as a jigsaw puzzle in a case of not only do you think about the appropriate antimicrobials covering for the organisms that you think might be causing the infection, you also have to think about patient-specific factors, um, such as are they able to tolerate the antimicrobials and what site of infection it is, making sure that the antimicrobials are effective against those sites. Um, and I guess in that case, then you have to incorporate all those three things to make sure that you're on the right path in solving the clinical case. As soon as I knew that I was interested in infectious diseases, I made sure that I have an ID rotation during my fourth year rotations. Uh, additionally, when I was pursuing PGY-1 programs, I evaluated hospitals that have an ID rotation as well as PGY-2 ID programs. Every program is different as far as what rotations they do during their residency, but for my experiences, the first six months uh, during my residency program is focused on um, infectious diseases consult services as well as antimicrobial stewardship. For my elective rotations, I chose to do critical care, bone marrow transplant and hematology, solid organ transplant, pediatric ID, as well as academia. And for the last two months of my residency program, I go back to infectious diseases consult services and antimicrobial stewardship. The main responsibilities of an ID pharmacist is heavily focused on reviewing patients receiving antimicrobials for the whole hospital, as well as rounding with the ID consult service teams. Additionally, we also precept and teach residents and students and also serve as a resource for pharmacists and other healthcare providers for ID-related questions. I think one of the main challenges of being an ID pharmacist is that making sure that I build rapport and relationships with the physician since not only am I working with the ID team, I'm also working with the entire physician group for the entire hospital since ID is very prevalent in all patient populations. Uh, additionally, um, as an ID pharmacist and an advocate for antimicrobial stewardship, ID pharmacists can be seen as policing antimicrobial use, but what we're really doing is helping out and guiding um, physicians and pharmacists for appropriate antimicrobial therapy. ID pharmacy is always evolving since, as I've mentioned earlier, there has been an increase in resistant organisms and thus national organizations advocate for the development of new antimicrobials. Um, additionally, uh, numerous studies have, are being conducted as we speak that could potentially lead to practice and guideline changes. So how do I um, stay up to date with all of those things happening? Um, I read a lot of primary literature as well as stay involved in organizations such as Society of Infectious Diseases Pharmacists um, as well as American Society for Microbiology. 
far as the job outlook for ID pharmacists, I expect positions to grow over time, especially with organizations such as the Joint Commission advocating for the development and implementation of antimicrobial stewardship programs across all hospitals in the United States. Um, and with the optimization and active surveillance of antimicrobial use, I hope to see that there will be a decrease in resistance in the near future. For those of you who might be asking, well, how do I know if I'm interested in ID? My best advice is to get as much exposure in the ID practice, whether it's shadowing an ID pharmacist, pursuing an ID rotation as a fourth year, and if you are pursuing a PGY-1 residency, making sure that you are involved in the ID and stewardship program of that institution. If you are really interested in pursuing an ID pharmacy position as your career, then uh, it would be best that you apply for PGY2 ID programs to get the training that's necessary.